There was a black child named Oscar who lived with his poor family in a simple house. The family suffers from extreme poverty. Oscar, since his childhood, has seen his father suffering as his father spends most of his time working for money. He doesn't even spend enough time with them. Years passed and Oscar became a teenager. He thought of looking for a job to help his family. At first, the family refused this because they saw that he was still young and couldn't work. But Oscar was determined to work in order to help his father. Oscar worked as a mechanics assistant. He doesn't go to school much anymore because he's busy with work. He works hard to help his father. His father talked to him about it and asked him to go to school at least three days a week. The next day, Oscar went to school and was ridiculed and bullied. One of his classmates told all the other students that they'd seen Oscar at the mechanics. All of Oscar's classmates mocked and laughed at him. And another one bullied him because of his black skin. This was very heartbreaking and painful. Oscar pretended not to care what they said about him. He defended himself and told them that at least he helps his father, but they're not doing anything useful in their lives. Oscar pretended that he was neither angry nor sad because they were making fun of him, but in reality, he was very sad. After that, Oscar refused to go to school again, but his father told him, you must learn. Education will teach you everything in life. Never neglect your lessons. A long time has passed, and unfortunately, the father died, leaving his wife, son, and daughter alone. It was very sad for Oscar because he loves his father very much. From then on, Oscar realized that he had become responsible for his mother and sister. Oscar found himself lonely and sad after his father's death. His father was everything to him in that life. He also saw that the financial situation of his family was getting worse because his mother doesn't work and his sister is still young and cannot work. They live on little money that their father left for them before his death. On the other hand, Oscar has had a dream since he was young, which is to have a luxury car showroom. But of course, he sees at that time that he'll not be able to do anything, not even achieve his dreams because of the harsh conditions of life he's exposed to. But he really never forgot his dream. One day, Oscar was with his friend Johnny at the coffee shop, and he talked to him about work. Oscar's looking for a second job so that he can meet his needs as a sick mother and little sister. Johnny suggested that he work as an assistant to the owner of a car showroom. Oscar liked that idea very much. He said to his friend, You know, Johnny, my dream is to become the owner of a luxury car showroom. I never forgot my dream, but I can't start again. I'm stuck here in the rough conditions of my life, but I'll never lose hope as long as I live. Johnny replied, Everything you wish for will come to you in due time. Don't rush. You're hardworking, and you'll make your dream come true. I believe in that. Oscar also dreamed of being an automotive engineer, but he knew very well that he wouldn't be able to do so because the costs of faculty and engineering are very high. On the other hand, since he was young, he loved his neighbor, Samantha, but that girl left him because of his poverty. He called her and told her that they should meet in order to talk well, but she refused. She sent him a text message saying, we will never be able to be together. I will never be able to bear a poor life again. I want to marry a rich man to compensate me for that poverty. I expected that you would study engineering and work in a prestigious place, but you're still the way you were. You haven't changed at all. Someone else will love you and accept to live with you in that poverty, but it's not me. Oscar felt deeply sad, as if something was stuck in his heart. He felt unworthy of love and doing anything. At that time, he felt very frustrated because the girl he loved the most, who was supposed to stand beside him, left him alone, said very bad things about him, and blamed him for his financial situation. He expected that she would stay with him and support him, but that's not life. Not all the people we love will stay with us as we imagine. So we should not expect anything from anyone. We have to be prepared that maybe someone we love will leave us one day. That period was very difficult and harsh for Oscar. And it got worse when Oscar accidentally learned that his mother had cancer. He saw his mother taking medication and he asked her about it, but she didn't tell him that she had cancer so as to not make him more anxious. One day, Oscar came home, and while he was in the hall, he accidentally heard his mother talking to her friend on the phone and telling her that she wanted to go with her to the doctor for a chemotherapy session. Oscar was shocked and spoke to her mother and said to her, Why didn't you tell me that you had cancer? The mother replied, I didn't want to disturb you. I've been working as a seamstress for weeks in order to save money for chemotherapy sessions. You work so hard for us, so I didn't want to make you bear more burdens. Oscar was very sad about this. The next day, he went to work in the mechanics workshop. On that day, signs of sadness, worry, and anger appeared on his face. 
There was an old man riding his car, and he came to Oscar to fix the car. The old man's name is Liam. As for his personal life, he's a very old man. He has three sons, and they abandon him because he was old. They also live abroad. They even never call him or talk to him. Life has always kept them busy. At that time, the old man spoke to Oscar and asked him to fix his car. Oscar spoke in a very nice way to the old man, even though he was very sad that day. The old man noticed that Oscar was very sad and talked to him a little bit about his life and asked him, what's wrong with you? Oscar said to him, I'm okay. I don't want to bother you with my problems. The old man replied, I want you to talk freely. Maybe when you talk to me, you'll feel a little relief. I want to listen to you. Oscar replied, life's difficult. The circumstances of life forced me not to fulfill my dream of owning a car showroom. I couldn't even marry the girl I love. She left me because of the harsh conditions of life. She blamed me for my sadness and poverty. Also, unfortunately, yesterday I found out that my mother has cancer. She didn't even tell me about it. I'm so sad that this life is so hard on me. I even wish I could have something I love. The old man was moved by what Oscar said and cried. Oscar said to him, what's wrong with you? Why are you crying? Are you crying for my misery? I don't want to see you crying. You're a very kind man. I'm sorry I disturbed you. The old man said, you never bothered me. I liked listening to you. It was I who asked you to talk to me. The thing that made me cry was that I remember my sons who live abroad. They never contact me. They're completely cut off from me. I don't even see my grandchildren. I never imagined my children would abandon me and leave me alone. I feel so lonely. Then a very painful event happened, which was that the old man began to feel dizzy and couldn't stand up. He sits on a chair. Oscar immediately rushed to the supermarket to get food for the old man, and indeed he quickly brought him a lot of food, and he returned immediately. He fed him, and then the old man could move and thank Oscar. Then he left. After that, the owner of the workshop asked Oscar to come to him immediately. And when Oscar went to him, the owner of the workshop was very angry and said to him, You've become so careless in your work. I don't know how you left that workshop and went to the supermarket. You didn't even tell me that. You become so careless. The workshop could have been robbed when you're at the supermarket. Oscar replied, I was helping the old man because he's very sick. I rushed to the supermarket to get him food. I was never late. I only tried to save his life. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to leave the workshop alone. I was never careless in my work here. Please accept my apologies. Unfortunately, the owner of the workshop did not accept his excuse and expelled him from the workshop telling him that he would bring another man to work with him. During that time, Oscar felt very sad and anxious. He also felt that all the doors in his life had closed in front of him. But the next day, something happened that made his life completely change and become full of happiness. The old man called Oscar and asked him to come to him at once. Indeed, Oscar went to him, and the old man told him that he had bought him a very luxurious car showroom and also gave him the key to a new car. And he said to him, Actually, I didn't tell you that I'm a very rich man. You saved my life yesterday, and for that I owe you my life. I brought you everything you need. Thank you so much for saving my life. You did me a favor that even my sons wouldn't do for me. Oscar thanked the old man very much and said to him, You made my dream come true. Thank you for everything you did for me. Oscar became a rich man and bought a new house. His mother had also recovered from cancer. Oscar lived with his mother and sister happily and lovingly in the new house. He became the owner of the car showroom and had many cars. This is the happy ending of the story. The story teaches us that a man sows what he reaps. A person should be kind-hearted and help others and support them in difficult situations. A person must have faith that he'll achieve his goal one day.